Hello, this is Jesse with GoProto. I'm here to show you the solution to a problem that has plagued the 3D printing industry to this point, which is the problem of being able to sew or pierce 3D printed parts to be able to put upholstery or carpet or leather or foam onto parts uh, so that you could build displays, automotive interiors, uh, trucking interiors, uh, tractor interiors, uh, all kinds of different parts, and, uh, soft goods, sporting goods, etc. Uh, what I have here is a couple of uh, parts that we printed on HP's Multi-Jet Fusion in nylon 12 material. This part's a very thin, very flexible part, similar to what you might see, say, on a soft good. Uh, and then this part is thicker to show that uh, when we pierce that, it, uh, it still works even in the thicker geometry. These are the same exact material, nylon 12. This one has just been dyed to make it look nicer. Um, I have here my uh, handy-dandy little makeshift sewing machine, just a push pin. And then uh, this part here, show you that we can pierce it just like a sewing machine would. And it lives beautifully. No problem, Pulled all the way through, still very strong, flexible, etc. Works just great. Uh, then this part here is thicker, so and I can't push it through by hand, so I need to use this hammer. Hammer through, poked right through. No problem, I'll do it again just to show. Can do it again. There we go. 3D printed parts, able to be pierced. HP Multi-Jet Fusion, printed by GoProto. Thank you.